Hey everybody, it's Harold from Living in the Hill Country. Made myself a pair of shooting sticks. Used two arrows, a little bit of nylon rope, a little bit of electrical tape. Let me show you how I did it. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, right here in the Hill Country of Texas. So as you can see, I have my two uh, arrows here. I also have a piece of uh, nylon string here, or uh, what this basically is, is a, a boot lace. And it's about uh, three foot long, give or take. And um, the trick of the, this knot is, is that the diameter of the rope itself can be no more than half the thickness of the item or the two uh, sticks that you're attempting to uh, use this knot for. It's called the Chelsea's knot. Okay? And here's how you're going to want to do this. You match the two ends of the rope and you bring it down and lay it out like this. You want it to look just like that. Okay? You'll put one of the arrows aside for right now. You'll take your first arrow and you'll lay it across your rope, your string like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this loop here lay it across the arrow. So it looks like that. So it looks like this. Now what you'll do You'll reach through this opening here, and you'll pull these two pieces of the rope through, like that. Just like that. Okay? Now, you'll leave some, leave this end, the loop end loose, so it's kind of like that. Okay, now what you'll do is you'll take this looped end, you'll bring it over the top of the arrow, you'll reach through and grab these two ends of the rope again, and you'll do the very same thing, bring it through. And then you'll cinch that tight, bringing the pieces of the rope together, just like that, okay? All right, now what you're going to want to do, you're going to take your other stick or arrow and you're going to place it right next to it like that take these pieces of rope and you're going to take this over the the arrow that you just set on there you're going to go down through and you're going to go around it twice just like that okay you're going to do the same thing with the other string Down through, over, down through, or over and down through, just like that, okay? And you're going to bring these together, making sure not to cross them, but just to have them together like that. And you're going to cinch it up tight against the other, the other arrow, just like that, okay? Hopefully you can see that. And at this point, once you have that, you're satisfied with how, how tight that is, flip that over like this and tie yourself a square knot. Just like this. Okay? So tighten that up. Just like that. Alright? So now you got your square knot on top of that, the Chelsea's knot. Alright? Just like that. Then at that point, what you're going to want to do is you'll take these pieces of the rope, you'll stick it through the bottom, like this. 
So turn it over, and you're going to put another square nut right here. Okay? Just like that. Just like that. And after you have that together, you'll get your knife, a pair of scissors, whatever you have, and you'll cut the ends. Just like that. Okay? But the idea of this knot is very simple. You can slide it up and down the arrows for your, any adjustment that you'd like. But you have to slide the two ends together. If you push down on this side of the knot, it tightens this side of the Chelsea's knot and it will not allow this side to slide down. So any type of pressure that you put on these knots pulling downward will tighten those knots more so that you'll be unable to uh, move, move those items, move that knot down. But if you take them both together, you can slide it and adjust it anywhere. So when you spread the sticks apart and your rifle sets in here, it, put, make, it, it directs pressure onto the knot and therefore tightening both knots and holding the, the sticks in place. So after you get the nylon rope uh, cut off, you might want to get yourself a, a lighter or a match and, and then just uh, uh, melt those frayed ends so it doesn't come unraveled on you. Um, as far as the arrows themselves, uh, you can paint them if you like or I just leave them like this, it's already camouflaged. Uh, as far as the knocks on there, um, you can leave those on there. You can take those off if you like. Um, these here, I'd probably just leave on there. I would probably uh, touch them up with a permanent marker or maybe put some electrical tape on there, whatever the case might be. As far as the tip end of it, I'd leave target tips on there um, because that'll help uh, grab the ground and then help you be more secure uh, when you're uh, sitting on rocky areas and uh, and of course out out in the dirt but now as far as contact I mean when you're carrying them depends upon where you have the knot situated but you may want to put some electrical tape down here and in fact I think we'll go ahead and do that I just so happen to have some here so what I'll do is I'll find the, the area of contact, which is down here, right? And then I'll just take some electrical tape and I'll loop some around, just like this, creating a barrier between the two arrows. Okay? I'll probably put some on this side as well. You're just basically creating a gap in between the two arrows to keep the end tips from hitting. If you're worried about uh, noise, noise reduction. Or you could simply put some moleskin down here. That would work as well. But we'll try that. There. Now uh, it, it no longer allows those to knock together. So there you are, there's a pair of, of uh, shooting sticks. So those are the shooting sticks that I made. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. 
and then you can leave some comments and questions below. You can share this video with your friends if you like it. Very much appreciate the support. And as always, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.